Hi, I'm Judy. This week I have a restorative yoga practice for you. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what we're doing in that particular practice. One of the things we're doing is practicing some mild inversions. And inversions are generally people think about handstands, shoulder stands, head stands. All these things are inversions. For some people, they're just not available to them. So I am offering inversions that are relatively available to most people because there are a lot of inversions in yoga that people just don't think of as inversions, but they are. Like, if, like down dog, for instance, Anu Mukha Savasana. It's actually a really good inversion, although we're not doing that today. So the important part of inversions, the things that you need to remember, is that they help you to relax. So we walk around all day long, right? And our heart is here. And that heart is working hard for us. We don't really think about it until something goes wrong. But it is pumping our blood. It is sending out oxygen. It is giving us energy. It's taking back carbon dioxide and so on and so forth. When we invert, the heart does not have to work so hard to pump blood up to our brain. And it gives us a chance to calm down, to relax, to move from our sympathetic nervous system into our parasympathetic nervous system. And that is what a lot of my practices are all about. Most people in modern days spend almost all their time in their sympathetic nervous system, which is considered our flight or fight response. Now, we don't want to be in that all the time. There are so many stress hormones that come, get pumped out when we're in that all the time and they just wreak havoc on our lives and on our bodies so we need to we need we need our sympathetic nervous system it's very important but we need to balance it with the parasympathetic nervous system and we don't do that enough in this day and age it's not applauded as much as oh look you ran another mile you lifted more weight um, you did this great job at work. All those things are great, but if they're not balanced by stuff that restores you, you're going to burn out. And restore, obviously, is the operative word in that sentence. Restorative yoga, that's what it's all about. It's about bringing that balance back into your life. It may be feel very, very foreign when you first start to practice it. You may think, oh, I cannot sit here that long. I can't turn my thoughts off. This is stupid. This is silly. Um, and whatever other thoughts you may have. Uh, it's common. There's nothing wrong with thinking those things, but just give it a chance. Because we're all always saying, oh, if only I could relax. If only I had time to do, you know, whatever it is that makes you feel calm, that makes you feel filled up. And we're always saying we'll do this when the next target is hit, right? Well, if you never stop and smell the roses, they're going to wither up and die, and so are you. So, anyway, I cut off on a little tangent there. Um, inversions are a great thing to practice every day. They don't have to be super difficult. This practice that follows this little vlog is aimed just at that, at getting you out of your sympathetic nervous system into your parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system, giving you a chance to relax, perhaps helping you with hot flashes, perhaps helping you with insomnia, I would suggest this is actually a really good practice before you go to bed, but I would also say it's a great practice at any time of day. It might even be a great practice um, during that afternoon slump time actually, time, actually, if you have, you know, if you can get away and have availability to be in a place with no distractions. 
So I really hope you enjoy this restorative yoga practice. And don't be afraid to go upside down. <laughs>